friends, it's your girl Heather, and today I'm hanging out with Chef Tyler, and he's going to show us how to make shakshuka. What is it? Let's find out together. All right, Chef, what we got going? Sweet. Well, this is going to be like just like a pretty quick take on a shack. Uh, it might not be like standard true to the definition of what a shakshuka is, okay. but pretty close. And uh, I think it's something, once again, like you probably have most of this in your pantry or have access to it pretty easily. So yeah. it'd be pretty sick. All right, right. All right. Cool. All right, we're going to start with just like a little bit of oil in the pan. We're going to start sauteing some onions and garlic. So onion, these have been sliced very, very thin. They go that popping. Kind of do a little bit more. I'm going to start moving the pan. We're using like a pretty wide pan here because we're trying to get a lot of contact. Okay. With this recipe, it's like a lot of development of flavors, getting a little color on the onions really quick, and then getting just a little brown on the garlic. We're going to have the tomato paste after that. And like, have you ever made pasta sauce where you like caramelize mm. the tomato paste yeah, first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Just like helps like add a deeper flavor and kind of like a richness to everything else in the dish. We'll add, yeah, just about a tablespoon a of finely garlic. minced garlic. We'll keep moving that around so it doesn't burn. Chef's tip. Chef's tip. Because we're chefs. <laughs> so we got a little bit of color on yep. the onions and on the garlic. What we're going to do next is add some tomato paste to so probably about three tablespoons. I don't add it right on top of the onions and garlic. I kind of set it to the side. Okay. Because I don't want to just mix in. I want to sit there and start caramelizing this ah, separately. Yeah. We're removing some of the moisture from the mm -hmm. tomato paste. Just adds to a thicker sauce. Mm -hmm. You can smell the nice roasty garlic. So good. So what we're going to do here in a minute is the glaze the pan. So like you'll see chefs a lot like using white wine or maybe like vinegar uh, or something at the end and yeah, then the glaze in yeah. the pan to pull up that bond. A teaspoon or so cayenne. Mm. A little smoked paprika. A little smoked paprika, probably little cayenne. two tablespoons. Okay. Well, probably like three tablespoons of cumin. Come on, cumin. And this is a mixture of cinnamon, clove, and allspice. Ooh. We'll do, it's about an eighth of a teaspoon of each. I'm just gonna toss that around really quick. Add our tomatoes. So Those are some just, pretty tomatoes. Yeah, these are just some tomatoes I got from a farmer up the road. Uh, we're gonna start sweating those out. They're also gonna start pulling up some of that fawn on yep. the bottom of the pan. Yep. So this is where it's actually gonna take part of the longest. This is yeah. probably the longest part of this cooking process. So we add these fresh tomatoes. They have a lot of moisture in them. Mm -hmm. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna start steaming out and then losing their moisture. So you'll see a lot of water start to pull in the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna let that reduce for a minute. Um, we'll add our chickpeas after that and let those kind of braise together. Okay. Once we get there, we'll uh, crack eggs in this and get in the oven. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to add my chickpeas now. Mm. So we're going to add just a little bit of water to this pan just to get the chickpeas a little more a little more room to braise in. I'm going to add just like a little bit of salt to the dish. Of course. Uh, we haven't really seasoned the tomatoes, and yeah. I think salt is like a pretty crucial step to uh, enjoying tomatoes, especially <laughs> nice summer tomatoes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, and now we're to the point that we can uh, crack some eggs in this. You know oh, the, yeah. Do you know the drill? I know the drill. Well, I'll let you do your egg over there. I'll start in this one. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sick. So now, yeah, we're just gonna pop in the oven. It's gonna be in there for four or five minutes at around 350, just 350. until the whites are set and the yolks will be cooked like just enough right then and uh, about that time. All right, cool. oven time. Yes, All so right. this has been in the oven for about five to eight minutes. Five to eight minutes. You're really just looking for like the egg whites to be like nice and like cooked through. Oh. The yolks should like carry on accordingly. Yes, look at those egg yolks. Awesome. Yes. So cool. So we have a few like finishing touches we're going to do next. Uh, okay. We're going to sprinkle it with like just a little bit of uh, feta. So just like crumbled up. Feta. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feta? A little nice fatty, creamy cheese. Yes. Plays well with like the high acidity of the fresh tomatoes oh. and the vinegar. We might have to go pretty generously here. Next, we're gonna finish it with like a little bit of yogurt as well. So why, why not? We have it in a piping bag, so I like to do just like really big dots little, of yogurt. A couple dots, just for funsies. Uh, next, finish a little bit of flake salt, especially on top of the eggs. Sprinkle it just a little around here. And then a little fresh cilantro. You know, wow. you know fresh herbs. These are just kind of like just the ends. Just in there. Yeah, it's pretty rustic. The idea for me is like always just to like take a large piece of bread or naan or whatever it is you're eating and just like kind of tear into it and dip it in the container, get some of the eggs, the tomatoes, get the chickpeas, the yogurt, a little bit of everything together. A little bit of everything. 
it's time, chef. So what we do is we take a nice little piece of this sourdough, yeah. right? We're just gonna pop just that, rip it just rip yeah. that, yeah. and then we're going in. Just dig and straight in. Get some of the dig. yolk, get some of the tomatoes and yogurt, everything. And the and the egg. I'm getting the egg and getting the tomato here, right? Because we just need a bite, okay? We just need a bite. Oh, that is so good, chef. That is. So good, chef. And then you got the, oh, you got that cilantro. Mmm. My friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. And, of course, made with our heritage breed, brownies and a bluebie. Check it out. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna tell you this, is this a 